Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokesu Channel and the Guitar Ladder System, which is available for one ninety nine at stevezookguitars.com. Over 240 studies, video and chart for each study. I do not send it all at once. It's not effective that way because we're planting seeds in your subconscious. Really works, folks. It's, it's, it's a, it doesn't have a ton of theory or note reading. There's no note reading at all. And it doesn't bog down your brain with a bunch of complex theory. It's, it's really about absorbing and learning in a very organic, simple way, the 10 different systems of improvisation. I mean, if you really love music and you really love guitar, just bring a positive attitude to the table. Go for it. Um, you know, it, you've got years to get through the material. There's no rush. But I mean, it's, you'll, you'll really discover your own unique harmonic point of view. You'll discover your own unique, you know, musical point of view. You'll reflect artists you like. But if you want to give yourself every chance to wake up the artist, wake up the composer, wake up, you know, wake up your musical ear to the fullest possibilities, uh, you know, this, this course will really do the trick. Hey, uh, I, I did a video the other day with these four Garcias, and some people have asked me to do some separate ones too. This is the 1969, and you know what, even though I kind of thought I had a favorite of the four, every time I pick up, because I'm talking, I can hear this thing ringing inside. As I pick up the other ones, they everyone has a special magic to it. Um, I thought I had one that was my favorite, but I'm, I, every time I play one of the other ones, I start to hear something different. But this one is the 1969 Federico, Federico Garcia. Uh, I'm asking 675 for this. Um, really has a sound. But again, these need to be played. I, I don't think this one's been played as much as some of the other ones. I, I should take this one to the mountains, let it dry out a little bit. And this is that flamenco tuning where, you know, I have the E, the low E into a D and have the G and F sharp. So this is going to be a simple demo. I mean, I've had some people that want to hear these separate. So this is a real simple thing. And then, like I, said, I don't these strings I don't think have been stretched out fully yet. These are really lousy strings too. I'm just noticing they have a little ball on the end. That's probably so these are probably the cheapest strings you can buy. Maybe I should put some new strings on it, but you know when you when you're buying and selling a lot of guitars, it gets really expensive always putting new strings. So this is simple. I just want you to hear it. And every, every video is a little different too. Depending on where I sit with the guitar in relationship to them. And these are cheap mic. This is a hundred dollar Zoom Q3. really has a nice tone. So again, not a performance, just a very simple demo. Because I had some people that want to hear it the specific, you know, just one guitar at a time. These cheap strings are stretching out. So this is going to be a very simple... I think you can hear. Yeah, 
Yeah, these cheap, I haven't played this guitar much, so these cheap strings are stretching out. So I'm gonna make this real short demo. Sounds pretty damn good now. It's got... It's got that kind of natural woody reverb. Stop right there. This one, 649, uh, our best offer. It's got a really, I, maybe I should change strings just because I think these have the strings with the little balls on the end. That's got to be the cheapest strings you can get, right? Sounds pretty damn good with these though. But yeah, this one, <coughs> there's a little bit of white stuff on the fretboard there. I don't know, like it might be cleaned off, might not. But yeah, this, this is the Federico Garcia, and it's got some kind of interesting sideways figure in the mahogany, which is super rare. There's only one tree in the world, by the way, that fell like over 100 years ago, 150, 200 years ago, that fell in Belize. And uh, and it took a lot of money to pull the tree up, up a hill. And it produced all the uh, flame mahogany in the world. All the flamed, highly flamed mahogany in the world came from that one tree in Belize. So it's pretty interesting. But... Uh, Anyway, all right, so this is a cool one. This is the 1969 uh, Federico Garcia. And uh, like I said, these strings are stretching. All right, folks, take care.